Is it possible to develop an entire game by only using ChatGPT? Well, that's exactly what I set out to answer. For this challenge, I'll be using a game engine I'm not familiar with and I'll be depending on ChatGPT to give me instructions along the way, as well as to write all the code required. My idea was to make a simple 2D platformer with 3 levels. So I asked ChatGPT to recommend me an engine and it came out with these options. I picked the first one and went ahead to install it. Little did I know that Unity would proceed to take its sweet time installing. Now at night and with Unity finally installed, I went ahead and asked ChatGPT how to set up a project for a 2D game. The answer I received was the most shallow and generic possible and at the end it told me to go watch tutorials. Yeah, nice try, you're not getting off that easy, you, you slacker. slacker. What followed was some back and forth between Unity and ChatGPT, but in the end we were ready to start making the game. So I started off by asking it how to create a playable character. The instructions it gave me were more complicated than needed, but I didn't know this at the time, so I followed them. I asked for more details and then created a game object and added a sprite renderer component to it. Now I had to add a sprite to my object, so I asked ChatGPT where I can get one and it referred me to the Unity Asset Store, which um, took me some time to find. After a quick search through the asset store, I found a nice asset pack that included everything I would need for my game. I tried to add the asset to the player object, but it wasn't working, so I asked ChatGPT for help and he told me to just drag and drop it from the assets window into the scene. So I did that and configured it the way ChatGPT told me, and now it was time to make it controllable. I added a script component to the player object as ChatGPT told me, and then asked it to write the code for it that would make the object controllable. I pasted the code, and, and now it was, it was time, time to see, see if it's, it's working. working. Wow! Amazing, isn't it? That's game of the year material we have right here. Okay, now I wanted to add a few platforms so I have something to test on and uh, not just fall in the void. So of course I asked the bot how to add them through the asset pack I downloaded before. I followed the instructions it gave me, but they were wrong, the button I was supposed to click was missing. So I told it that it made a mistake and I received new instructions which again turned out to be wrong. Finally, it gave me the somewhat correct way to add the platform. It wasn't without its problems, like the player not colliding with them, but after some debugging with the help of ChatGPT, at least it was now possible to add working platforms, though very primitively. <laughs> Now came the time to fix the player animation so it doesn't constantly loop and add a finish object that takes you to the next level. Easy, right? Well, yes, but actually no. Push it to the limit. Anyway, after failing for so long, I wanted to try something easy to get my hopes back up. So I asked the bot to tell me how to make the camera follow the player. It wrote me a script that added to the camera object and thankfully it worked first try. Heh, <laughs> that's a first. No. Do you think I'm a joke? Next thing to do was to fix the jumping of the player. Currently it can jump forever and I wanted it to only be able to double jump. Of course, I asked the bot how to do it, but uh, it was feeling under the weather. It kept malfunctioning, but at the end, I got my answer, which was wrong. And now I have only two jumps for the entire game. I told it about the problem, suggested a solution, and it wrote me some new code, which actually worked. Only two tries, nice. Excluding uh, the malfunctions, of course. Alright, let's build the whole level. Done.
Jumping is currently a bit bland due to the lack of a sound effect. So obviously I asked my binary friend how to add one. It gave me an answer, but it didn't like it because it would only play the sound during the initial jump and it is possible to double jump. I shared my concerns with the bot and he started writing me a new script. Meanwhile, I went to search for a suitable sound effect. Once we were ready, I went ahead and did what ChatGPT told me. Time to see if it works. As you can hear, the sound effect is only played once when the game starts and that's it. I'm not going to bore you with the details, but basically I spent the next 15 minutes trying to make it work and at the end not only it didn't work, but it also broke the jumping mechanic. So I decided to call it quits and move on. I quickly added some text at the end of the level, since earlier we failed to make a proper end screen. I then asked the bot how to add a background image and the instructions it gave me seemed way too complicated for something that simple. So instead I just drag and drop the image in the scene and guess what? It worked. Who would have thought? Well, no chat GPT obviously. The game is almost done, there is only one major thing left to do. Add a timer. I asked the bot how to implement it, but after failing twice, I decided to start a new conversation, thinking that things were becoming way too complicated in the old one. I tried bringing it up to speed and telling it about the timer, but it wasn't having any of it. Though, after a bit of persistence, it finally worked. So the bot wanted me to add two scripts to my game. One will be attached to the player object, and that will be the actual timer, and the other will be attached to a text at the end of the level, stopping the timer. I asked for more details and then began going back and forth between Unity and ChatGPT to complete the steps. Not long after, I was done and ran the game, hoping it would work. Well, we do have something that somewhat resembles a timer. Uh, let's get to the end of the level and see if it stops counting. To absolutely nobody's surprise, it doesn't stop. So first, I fixed the color and position of the timer, and then after some debugging, it turned out that both the player and the text object on the end of the level don't have tags, which are required for the timer to work. After these changes, the timer is now decent and I can move on to the final touches. I wanted to hide the cursor from the game and the bot gave me a simple script to implement. I also added background music and... IT IS DONE! This is the masterpiece of shit I managed to create by using an unfamiliar engine and depending entirely on ChatGPT. If you want to try it for yourselves, there will be a download link in the description. It's actually slightly fun, in a stupid way, and especially so if you try to speedrun it. And if you want to create actually good and fun games without depending on ChatGPT or watching tutorials, make sure to like and subscribe because we're developing an easy to use and intuitive game development tool that will allow you to make great games with ease. Special thanks to our Patreon supporters, and bye bye